Tierskaya was starting her fourth year in the Soviet figure skating system, a system which nearly destroyed her career. Her struggle began on the first day of school in Moscow. I started figure skating by pure chance because next door to our house there was a kindergarten, probably unique in Moscow, with a skating rink. My mother would take me there. I was four. The kindergarten coach spotted Maria's talent right away. She became part of the vast Soviet figure skating system and won several early competitions. But when her teacher left the school, Maria received little individual attention. She lost interest in a sport which treated her like a small cog in a colossal machine. When her spirit waned, that machine tried to spit her out. They said I had no future, that I would never be any good, so they just expelled me. I was on the verge of giving up figure skating forever. I felt hurt that somebody decided my life for me, and I did not want to give it all up. So I decided to prove they were wrong. Butyrskaya finally found a coach of her own and began her climb. She's won a Russian record six national titles and back-to-back -back European championships in 98 and 99. But she's a contradiction. Guarded, yet she posed for Playboy. She loves the Bolshoi ballet as much as disco dancing. At age 26, she wants to improve on last year's bronze and win a world championship. But she knows that in 10 meetings with Kwan, Michelle has beaten her every time. How do you look now to the world championship and Michelle Kwan? <laughs> difficult question because uh, I would like will be a world champion mm -hmm. but Michelle Kwan it's problem for me <laughs> but I will try despite the daunting presence of 18 year old Kwan Maria eight years her senior refuses to believe she's too old to achieve her dreams I have proven to myself and others that physical age does not matter at all in sports. When on the ice, I don't feel like a 15-year-old girl, but like a real woman. I'm glad that I'm old. It'll be a testament to her perseverance if she can win the gold medal. Here are the current standings. Soldanova of Russia, Malina, and Guzma Roli now in third place from France. But here is Maria Butyrskaya, trying to become the first Russian lady ever to win this title and the oldest skater ever to win a world championship in the ladies' competition. Well, the question only will be, what is her nerves position? Where will she be on these triple jumps? With Michelle in fourth place after the short program, this is a golden opportunity for Maria. It's either now or never. The first move, this triple Lutz jump. Beauty, a beauty, and a very nice landing edge, very controlled. Must get this next triple flip jump out of the way. Camel positions, really a very beautiful forward camel position. She changes to a back. Besides the overall standings, remember the results of just the free skate, very important. Melina, the top free skate so far. Michelle Kwan needs someone to have a better free skate than Maria Butyrskaya. She'll be the last skater. Nice Let's triple stop out. Good one. And right into triple toe loop. She looks totally focused. She's not reacting to the crowd at all. Just focusing down on the ice and herself.
exactly every step she's taking. And this is a program she knows very well. This is her last year's program. She's very familiar with this. Triple loop, double toe loop. sweep of all four disciplines here at the World Championships. It's never been done before. Austria did it, but there was no ice dancing back in 1925. Triple toe, double sow. How wonderfully done that was. It almost looked as though she was stepping out of it, but instead she, convert, she went right into the next move and it was a combination. Perfectly done. Triple loop. Double axle. Wow. Now she <laughs> sees a crack in, this, in the stiffness of the face. Beautiful position there with her arms behind her. This audience is going to erupt for her. And there's finally a smile on her face. She knew she had four minutes that she may never get back again in her career. And she took advantage. You know, the important thing for her is really less that she wins, that she was able to withstand the pressure, that she was able to give one of the best performances of her life, that she did not miss on those triple jumps, and that she all that experience came to the fore. That is the nice thing that she will remember. What do you think those Russians who gave up on her years ago are thinking right now? Maria Butirskaya with her performance here in the free skate met the moment. And this is her triple toe that she did. Good lift and jumping right up into a double sow cow. Really solid. Years of hard work, perseverance. That's what it ends up being, the emotion at the end. Five eight, five eight, five seven, five seven, five eight. Five Remember, if eight, Maria wins the free seven, skate, then there's only five, one skater eight. left that can help Michelle Kwan. The first set of marks. Well, they're very high and they're very strong. And five, you know, I, th I think the Russian five, Federation five, of ten five, years eight, ago should be eating five, its hat eight, right now five, after nine, having dumped five, her from eight, the team, removed five, her from nine, the World Championship. Five, she had a skate of her five, life. Nine. She landed seven triple jumps. Thank you. Oh, that's nice to see. Now only Anna Regnio can help me.